Okay, hey guys, welcome back to uh, my Minecraft Bedrock series. Uh, this is episode two. Uh, in case you missed the last episode, uh, first of all, you probably want to go back and check that out because we found a lot of stuff. Uh, basically, uh, we spawned right next to a an abandoned village, which, well, I thought they were really rare uh, on Bedrock, but it turns out they're not as rare as I thought. Um, so I read that on Java Edition, uh, the percentage chance of a village spawning as an abandoned village is 2% compared to 30% on Bedrock. So um, that actually probably explains why I haven't been as lucky finding one on the Java Edition. Uh, but it's it's still it's still special, and I, I, I like I really like how we've managed to find one. But um, yep, we've moved to this village now. Um, We've got some basic tools. I want to get some more iron, perhaps, and get some better armor, maybe, if we have time. Uh, but the main thing that we, the main exciting thing that we found yesterday, is uh, the librarian in this village, completely by chance, is offering us Fortune Three, and I can just demonstrate this now, hopefully. Yep, we're still selling it. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, that's. It won't show it because the the user interface on Bedrock is really not very good. But um, yeah, he is selling Fortune Three. Let's take my word for it. It's getting night already. I literally just slept. Anyway, let's just sleep quickly to get rid of the night and all the mobs that come with it, and then we can uh, we can get cracking. So um, let's make a f let's make a bit more bread first because I've noticed we're getting very hungry. Um, right, nice bread up here probably, yep. Oh, right, that's enough. So, um, first thing to do is probably to start a strip mine. Uh, so I think I'm going to do that. Um, in fact, you know what, no, let's try and find a desert temple first because uh, this this desert is quite expensive, and I really do think we can find one. Uh, so let's just see if we can get any free loot first before we have to um, before we have to start grinding. Because um, he doesn't love free loot. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been a pretty good series so far. It's, it's a very promising start. Um, oh, also, um, in the last video, I noticed that while I was editing, I actually. I'm, I saw a village on the horizon, but I never, I didn't actually notice it in the village in the video. So it might be worth heading back over there and checking that out because uh, there might be some more uh, interesting stuff over there. You never know. All right, but for now, let's uh, let's explore this desert. Ah, uh, see, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? I, I knew there'd be a desert temple here, and we've literally just found one. Right, perfect. Let's let's see what this has to offer. Fingers crossed for some diamonds, obviously. Oh, yeah, it's gonna hurt. Right, there was a trap. Ooh, yes, more iron, gold. I think ev everything in here, even though it's not good loot, is is beneficial to us in some way. Uh, so let's take it. Gunpowder is good for late game when uh, using rock. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? That is that is amazing. Three diamonds. We can already make a diamond pickaxe, and we didn't even see. This is why. This is why I told you. Always better to look free loot first before you start grinding because now this is going to make the mining trip a whole lot quicker. Right, I don't know if we're going to be able to find any more um, but that is, that is such a good chest man. I'm going to take the saddles because I like them. Oh enchanted book. Collecting one. It's pretty good. Uh, some more emeralds. Gunpowder. Uh, boom. That's just about it. But that was totally worth it. Okay. Um, and pile back up with sand, I guess. And 
hopefully our man has already been here. If I ever like to find it later and think, oh, that a desert temple. Um, I will have a little, little look. Um, see if we can find it another one because, I don't know, maybe I'm getting a bit cocky, but we'll have to see. I think we're getting so much good, oh, something just died there. That's a shame, probably a bunny. I think we're getting so much good luck in this game that uh, I don't want to see what, know what happens when our luck runs out. Because it will happen and it will not be, it will not be good. So that's something to look out for. Alright. Oh, I can see something in the distance. I think that's a sand village. Or a desert village. Yep, that's a desert village. That is the fourth village we found, including the, the, the abandoned one. This is crazy. Bedrock just loves to generate stuff. Also, what's happened to my... <laughs> that's really freaky. Why is... I just... Okay, he was just blinking for a very long time now. I don't like that feature of Bedrock Wet, which makes the skins blink. Not, just not one I'm used to. Oh, come on. Yeah, I could tell it was a bit sand village because you can, you can just see that thousand miles off and just sticks out so much. Right, what do you got? Um, a few cute little houses. Not much in them. Oh, it's a baby. Uh, some colourful beds though. Right, who lives here? Uh, stone mason, by the look of it. That's weird. I, I have full hunger. How was I able to eat that? I think it's a Fletcher. Yep, Fletcher. Fletching cable. So he will be selling us arrows and the like. What's up here? There's literally just leads to nothing. Weird. What are you saying? Um Okay, so this guy might be a good a good uh person to come to when it comes to getting emeralds for the enchanted book, so um I might lock you in here. Okay. Oh, we got a. Oh, is this a stone mountain? Yeah. Right, what do you trade? Oh, I can actually get some bricks. I don't want to do that now. Uh, just some more little houses with no work blocks. Let's have a look in the tower. Is this another uh, stone mountains? Or have I already been in here? Possibly already been in there. I don't know. Right, what's up the tower? Oh, we got that. And it's just some more wheat. I think I'm just going to leave it like that because I don't want to take any of that. It's not really useful to me when I've got all of this bread. Oh! Whoa, that is a lot of damage. We almost died there for the first time in this series. Oh, there's a chest in there and in here as well. Anything? No. Oh, who's, who's getting attacked? Oh god! Oh no! Come on, dude. Cool. You guys are dying anyway. How do you, how do, you do that? Oh. These guys? We've got some farms as well, so if we do need to get some quick, uh, some easy emeralds. So we can just pay these guys a visit. Oh, it's raining. Okay. Right, you know what? Uh, let's let's head back to the main village and let's let's start a strip mine because we've got the diamond pick now. Actually, I'll get some carrots. We can start a carrot farm. That might be a good thing to do because then we can come back. This farm isn't very big. We can move them to the back to the main village where we can build a bigger farm, get more carrots, and then we can bring them back here and trade them with the farm for emeralds. 
There is more play. Okay, so I think I'm heading the right way. Should be just back here, past the temple. And then the village should be in sight. Oh my god. I think I'm just going to call this video like God Seed or This Seed is So Good or something like that because it really is. Like, first impressions, well, not first impressions, but then, um, but yeah, I guess so. First impressions of Bedrock, um, I'm honestly, apart from the slight bug here and there, I'm pretty impressed. What is that? No, that's the same, that's the same one. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we've been here. Oh, have we? Are you kidding me? We haven't been here. This is a new one. You are joking. No, it's a new one. Oh my god. I knew there'd be a second one. I said let's go looking for a second one. Anything useful? Enchanted book. Protection one. Oh, another protection one book. That'd be good because we can combine them. Uh, golden apple, 100% taking that. Oh, okay. Uh, we won't take the other saddle because I've already got two, and two is just enough. Okay, so we didn't get as much good stuff as we did in the last one, but uh, it's still, still decent. We got a golden apple out of it. Um, right, so let's keep going. I think it's starting to get dark as well. Yeah, it is. So that's um, let's head back and uh, sleep. Uh, do I have any more blocks? Yes, I do. All right, where? How do we get back? This is where I see if I can actually remember where home is. Is that another? Get out. You are joking. Another sand village. There's the other one that we just visited. And here's another. Oh my god. There's just so many... So many generated structures. Oh, I remember them. Probably not going to go for it now because they can do a ton of damage. Is this house like is this even a house? No, it's a path. No. No, it's not a house. Hang on, is this is that the is that seriously the only house in this village? Is this like really bugged out? No, oh, it's a zombie with armor. Alright, mate. Oh he dropped his helmet. You can use that. Hey, first, first, first other bit of armor apart from those leather boots. Right, I think we headed the wrong way, but so um, the the village will be on the other side of that. Let me just uh, let me just get that. I might just go ahead in the video to when I'm back just to save time. Okay, we're back at the village. Uh, so the next thing to do now, as I said earlier, is to start a strip mine. So let's make this diamond pickaxe first. Um, where's my house? I don't think I actually have a proper house yet. I just sort of, it just changes every episode, I guess. Okay, diamond pickaxe, there we go. Exciting. Uh, we're not gonna use it right away. We're gonna, uh, we're just gonna use up our iron, our iron one first. Just so we can get the most out of this. Okay, let's go. Uh, I think I'm just going to start it right here. Oh. I guess not. Forget that. Uh, let's start it somewhere else. Oh. God, I need to get used to this. GUI.
Yeah, seems like a good place. Ah, you know what I've forgotten to do? I forgot to make any torches. Ah, uh, I knew there was something. some coal let's say come on okay oh that's all you're gonna give me oh, okay cool right well hopefully that'll see us through I want to find some more coal in the strip mine. Right, let's make these torches. Can we just do that now? Uh, yes, we can. Four? Oh, we need some more sticks. Twelve, there we go, that's better. Right. Where was it again? It was over here, wasn't it? I'm going to try and use these very sparingly just to save them. Right, that would be enough for now. Come on, give us some more coal. Oh, is that some more there? No. Nope. Hey, there we go. That's what I wanted. Uh, can I drop that, please? There we go. I don't want that. There we go. Some more. Um, not many more, but it'll do. Uh, I did not mean to do that. I meant to do the complete opposite. Alright, we're just going to go down to level 11, 11, 11, that's what I meant, I don't know why I said it like that. We're getting pretty close, ah, oh, gravel, wait no, it's not gravel, and it's like...
Fucking hell out of it. More coal. Let's go. Right, I think we're good for coal now, so that's a good thing. Hey, run that way. Cool. about picking up redstone um, but now I'm going to try out this new strategy that I've been using yeah, on Java uh, when it comes to getting diamonds where basically what you do uh, I'll demonstrate in a second let's just sort it out my inventory right so what you do basically is you make a little corridor on level 11 and then you just basically dig off in little uh, little one block holes uh, to the sides and just see it, cause if, if you find any diamonds because what this does is it basically is that a cobble? what's that? no it's not <laughs> I think I'm getting a bit too excited today but yeah uh, you just dig like this and it just basically it's a good way to see if there's any diamonds right next to you and it has worked before uh, I found survival well with my brother in Java and I got quite a few using this method. Ah, there goes my pickaxe. Time to upgrade. Oh my god. going along until you reach the end and if you can't find any you move them to the other side and if you can't find any there then you can just keep going so let's, uh, let's try that again let's just grab it again I've got about three minutes left recording um, so let's hopefully be able to find one in that time but if not then I'll just have to end it there and we'll continue the search in episode 3 oh, we've got some gold that's worth picking up specifically if we want to do any redstone well, stuff with power rails that would be useful And also for making golden apples for like the boss fights and stuff. Oh, oops. Some more iron there, I'm not too bothered about that. Right, let's just do this one just for the rolls. And there's nothing there. Okay, right. Uh, I'm going to head back up to the surface then and. Uh, yeah, we will we will round up the video. Okay, so that's just going to be about it for this video. Um, I try and make them about 25 minutes long, uh, and we've just hit that mark. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and um, we will hopefully find some diamonds. Uh, don't know whether I'll keep using that method or not. I might just dig straight forward. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can find some in episode three, which. Um, will be out shortly. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!